Hi friends, my name is Cheryl Jones. I'm here with Play to Learn Pierce County, a program powered by Green Trike and brought to you through the generosity of our sponsors and our partners. Today's story is called There Might Be Lobsters and it's by Carolyn Crimmy and Laurel Moat. Do you know what a lobster is? Can you see this picture? See those great big pinchers? That's what a lobster looks like. And they're about mm, this long, maybe a little longer. So they're pretty big. Lots of things at the beach scared Suki. Lots. Oh, poor Suki, look at her. She does look scared, doesn't she? Come on, Suki! You can do it, said Eleanor. She stood at the bottom of the stairs to the beach and waved to Suki. But Suki was just a small dog, and the stairs were big and sandy, and she hadn't had lunch yet, and her foot hurt a little, and she might get a shell stuck up her nose, and she might tumble down on her head, and then she'd need stitches, and besides, there might be lobsters. So Suki sat at the top of the stairs with Chunkamunka by her side. Oh, all right, said Eleanor. She picked them both up with a tsk and a huff and carried them down the stairs. Come on, Suki, you can do it, said Eleanor. And she tossed a beach ball Suki's way. But Suki was just a small dog, and the beach ball was big and beachy, and it might hit her nose, and then it would pop, and it might be too loud, or it might knock her down, and she might never get up again, and she might have to live on the beach forever and eat seaweed to survive. And besides, beach balls attract lobsters. So Suki sat far away from the beach ball with Chunkamunka by her side. Oh, Suki, Eleanor swooped that pup up with its skin off and cradled her in her arms. Come on, Suki, you can do it. Eleanor stood at the water's edge and splashed a little splash at Suki. But Suki was just a small dog, and those waves were big, and they were whooshy, and they were salty, and they were too wet, and they might toss her out to the middle of the sea, and she might float all the way to Tasmania or even Florida, and she might be swallowed by a whale, and she wasn't wearing a bathing suit, and besides, there might be lobsters. <laughs> So Suki sat at the edge of the water with Chunkamunka by her side. Oh, Suki, said Eleanor. She shook her head and dove into the waves.
Suki sat and watched beach balls bouncing and big boys running and umbrellas flapping and lifeguards blowing loud whistles and waves splish splashing with Chunkamunka. Floating out to sea. Suki barked for Chunkamunka to come back. Chunkamunka started to sink. Oh, what do you think is going to happen? Suki started to paddle. She paddled past a big beachy ball and threw a huge salty wave over something that might even be a lobster. <laughs> Until she had Chunkamunka, he was safe. Suki had saved him. She felt braver than the bravest dog because even though she was very small, Chunkamunka was smaller. Oh, Suki, I knew you could do it, said Eleanor. She picked them both up with a yay and a hooray and swung them very gently through the air. Suki sat in the sandy sand with the wavy waves and watched for lobsters with Chunkamunka by her side. And they didn't see one all day. Well, friends, when have you done something that you didn't think you could do? Or when have you done something that you were afraid of and then found out that it worked out well and you felt proud? Grown-ups, maybe you could tell about a time that you overcame a challenge or could did something you didn't think you could do. Kids, think about a time when you were scared about doing something and then you tried and it turned out all right. Friends, storybooks can be a really good way to think about big ideas and talk about them. So I hope you enjoyed this one and that it leads to some fruitful conversation. Bye for now.